Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about skeleton of Porifera. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So Hacker, he was the scientist. So according to this person, skeleton in Porifera is of two types: pseudoskeleton and autoskeleton. Pseudoskeleton is made up of entirely foreign body. That means it does not have any element that is secreted by the sponge itself. Whereas autoskeleton is a true skeleton. It is composed of elements secreted by the sponge itself. Majority of sponges possess autoskeleton. The autoskeleton in sponges are of two types. Spicule and spongy. So spicules are also called as sclerites. Spicule has a crystalline appearance. It consists of spines like this these are spines each spine consists of an axis and the axis is made up of organic material so suppose this is the axis of the spine which is made up of organic materials around this axis Inorganic substances like silica, calcium carbonate are deposited. So here different inorganic substances are deposited like silica, calcium carbonate, etc. So this is the structure of spine. Classification. So based on size, spicules are of two types, megasclears and microsclears. First is megasclears. So from the name itself that is mega, you can understand that megasclears are larger spicules. They form the supporting framework. Megasclears are five types. So first type is monoxon. This type of spicule is formed by growth in one or both directions. That means if this is the spicule then the growth can happen in this direction or in both these directions like upward and downward and this could be straight like these or curved like this so when growth occurs in one direction when growth occurs in one direction the spicule is called monactinal monoxon or style so in this case growth occurs in only one direction so suppose in this direction the growth is occurring this type of spicule has one end that is rounded this end is rounded that is called strongelot and the other end this end is pointed this end is called oxiot and this strongylot projects interior and the oxiot projects exterior. Now next is tylostyle. So if the rounded end, this is the rounded end, so if the rounded end is knobbed like this 
the spicule is called tylostyle and if the rounded end is carved like this the spicule is called acanthostyle so these are different types of monactinal monaxan which comes under monaxan now diactinal monaxan so when growth occurs in both directions suppose this is the spicule the growth occurs here also here also so in both directions that time the spicule is called diactinal monaxan here this part also grows this part also grows next is tetraxan so this is tetraxan this type of spicule is made up of four rays you can see here ray 1 ray 2 ray 3 and ray 4 and they all are radiating from a common point like this so this is the common point now what is calthrop so if all four rays are equal like this all four rays are equal the spicule is called calthrop now if one ray is elongated like this this ray is elongated and other three are smaller in size so these three are smaller in size that time the spicule is called trion and if the elongated ray bears a disc at both ends it is called amphidisc so if this is the elongated ray if this contains discs like these and these at both ends this is the disc and this is the disc that time we will call it amphidisc what is dian so when the smaller ray is lost so here we can see the smaller ray is absent here so that time we will call it dian and if the elongated ray is lost like this here you will not get elongated ray absence of elongated ray that time we will call it triode these all are coming under tetraxan next type is triaxan so we have talked about tetraxan we have talked about monaxan now we will talk about triaxan so tri that means three rays are there so this type of spicule is made up of three rays which are crossing at right angles like this this is ray 1 this is ray 2 and this is ray 3 and these three rays are crossing at right angles so this angle would be right angle almost right angle this angle would be almost right angle so like this next is polyaxon poly means many so this type of spicule like this is made up of many rays and they all are radiating from a central point like this next type is sphere so here you will not get any image of sphere because i didn't get it so i am just drawing it here so it is a round body so this type of spicule is a rounded body like this in which growth is concentric around a center so if this is the center the growth will occur around this center here only you will get the growth so all of these are coming under macroscleres next is microscleres 
So from the name micro, you can understand that these are smaller specules and they do not form any supporting framework. They are found in mesenchyme. These are some loose cells. Here we will get microsclears. And I have mentioned that two types of true skeleton we will get here. So one is spicules and the second is spongin. So spongin is a substance which contains certain sulfur rich proteins here you will get some sulfur rich proteins so it also contains glycine hydroxyproline glucose galactose mannose fucose arabinose glucosamine galactosamine and uronic acid a large amount of iodine also found in spongin Spongin is insoluble in water and cannot be digested by the digestive enzymes. So this is the structure of spongin. So the skeleton of Porifera could be made up of only spicules or only the spongin fibers or by combination of both. 